in Santa Clara. Gonzaga with a 12-point lead at halftime as we welcome now the commissioner of the West Coast Conference, Jamie Zaninovich, who's joining us. And the, and the, the storyline is just too compelling, Jamie. You know, everybody thinks West Coast Conference basketball, Gonzaga, with very good reason. On the women's side, people finding out tonight, this is going to be, we assume, they'll win another game somewhere and share at least their ninth consecutive regular season crown. Yeah. It's a great program. What Kelly Graves has done in Spokane on the women's side is is remarkable, and uh, he's had great players that have helped him, like Courtney Vandersloot and mm -hmm. uh, the players uh, playing tonight as well, but it's, uh, it's a great story, and, and it's great for, for women's basketball, actually. The, in, the environment in Spokane is, is remarkable. And it's interesting, if you look around the WCC women, you have a couple of programs. BYU, which is the second year now in the league. Jeff Judkins was a terrific player himself, and up the road from here at USF, one of the great women to ever play this game, and Jennifer Azy is the head coach. Yeah, we have some great storylines in the league, too, but we also think that uh, that we really have a league that's growing. We have four teams in the top 100 of the RPI. We're hoping for multiple bids for our second year in a row, which for, for this conference is, is really good growth. That would be, you said that would be a significant achievement to get two, at least two in the field? Multiple bids in all of our sports, including both of our basketballs, is our goal, so that's uh, that, that would be a success. We're sitting here, Jamie. We are right in the middle of Silicon Valley, right in the middle of innovation and great ideas. Give us an idea how the West Coast Conference is trying to use its position close to Silicon Valley in innovation. Well, we've really tried to, to push the envelope in some of our digital strategic initiatives. One that we've actually applied for women's basketball this year is we've done Google Hangouts mm -hmm. uh, with all of our women's programs and some of their players. And uh, the last told, I got a, I got the scorecard today. We have something like 19,000 followers uh, on Google Plus for those for those Hangouts. So it's a, we think it's an interesting way to engage our, our women's basketball fans in, in the digital environment. And our coaches and, and student athletes have really responded to it. They're having fun with it, and so are we. I believe you were the first conference to put the preseason coaches media gathering on YouTube. We did. We did our uh, our media day at YouTube's world headquarters two years ago and uh, did a bunch of social elements around that and interactive elements with our coaches, and they've seemed to respond to it. We have great markets for that and great fan bases that respond to that. You were another trailblazer taking your postseason tournaments to Las Vegas. Notice how few others have followed? we got a lot of company now, but it's going to be uh, – March is going to be exciting in Las Vegas. We're looking forward to it. Good. Jamie, thanks so much. Thanks, Tim. That is West Coast Conference Commissioner Jamie Zinovich. We'll recap the first half. Gonzaga up 12 on Santa Clara. Thank <laughs> you.